I'm gonna go ahead and add just a dash of pepper, a pinch of salt, organic. Remember, we're on a vitamin K regimen where we're increasing that vitamin K in our body to reduce wrinkles, increase bone density, and get the calcium out of your blood so that you're less likely to have blood clots, strokes, and heart attacks. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of half and half, organic half and half, one, two. So I'm gonna start the whisking. And <laughs> And then also, lots and lots of air bubbles there. Perfect, love it. Okay, hey, so we are going to be making our omelets. Um, I went ahead and melted about a table and a half, or about two tablespoons of butter. Butter needs to be completely melted, okay? But not brown. Butter's kind of funny. It will get brown in a New York second, so make sure it's melted but not brown. Okay, again, love my handy dandy bowls from Amazon, their KitchenAid, see it on that side, KitchenAid red bowls because I can actually pour the omelet mixture in there. So I'm gonna pour the mixture. Remember, I've already put my salt and pepper in it. Now, one thing I've learned about omelets is that I usually make two or three and one may be perfect and the other one may be less than perfect. So I always try to take the less than perfect one for me and whoever I'm making the omelet for, my kids or somebody like that, I just wanna make sure that they get the perfect one. So it's just a little art to make in the omelet. Okay, very couple important things. Make sure we're at medium heat. Too low, the eggs won't set. Too high, it's going to burn. Now, I've seen people flip omelets. List below in the comments if you can tell me how to do that. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video, but been cooking since I have been 13 years old. I've been making an omelet since I've been 13 and haven't discovered that trick quite yet. But this is a lot easier for those of you who thought that you had to actually flip it. So as you can kind of see, it's firming up. So what you're going to look for is the edges getting firm. The edges getting firm. Okay, so now here's my trick is I'm gonna hold up my pan and I'm gonna shake my pan, okay? So all I'm doing is distributing the heat evenly. So I'm taking that skinny spatula and I'm kind of just pushing the edges. So what I'm looking for is for that middle egg to get as cooked as possible, as cooked as possible and for my omelet to kind of shake around in that pan a little bit. So I want it to shake so that it's browning. So what I'm basically trying to do is cook the egg mixture on top. Like I said, poof, throw it up in the air. I don't know how those people do that. I'm not a professional omelet chef, but I have been making these guys for a very long time and I am known for my famous omelets. Everybody loves my omelets. All right, so kind of just keeping an eyeball on that so it's not getting super brown, wanting to make sure that that mixture is as cooked as possible so that it will flip over nicely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat down for a second. I'm actually seeing a little bit of bubbling, which is perfecto, yay, yay, I'd like to see that. Okay, take my veggie mixture. I'm just going to put some veg veggie mixture on half of the omelet. I'm not gonna use all that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the cheese with my fingers. Okay. So you have the cheese and the veggie mixture. And then I'm just going to take my skinny spatula and this is the tricky part. Hopefully this will turn out just perfect. It doesn't always. Okay, perfect. That was a perfect one. All right, that was the hardest part. And do not, like I said, that was just my pure luck. If I've been working on this video for two hours, I've been really aggravated if it didn't work. But usually one works just like this perfect one and then one will be less than perfect. It'll be a little broken, but it still tastes just as good. And I'm always just like, hey, I'll take that omelet. They taste just the same. All right, let's make sure it's got brown on the bottom by shaking the pan. At this point, you don't wanna just keep it on that heat because it will burn. So what we're basically trying to do by the shaking in the hot pan and then occasionally letting it get some heat back, shake, 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 is I'm letting it cook so that the cheese melts. Remember, those veggies should be freshly sauteed or you can microwave them for say 20 seconds. 
but you wanna make sure the veggies were warm to start with. You wouldn't wanna put cold veggies in there. This is not cooking. The veggies have to be cooked ahead of time. Now, as you can tell, this is way too much for me to eat. And unfortunately, Keto Cat does not care for omelets, but that is okay. Alrighty, so I like to see how it's getting nice and brown. And then if you wanna just take a quick peek and make sure the bottom is brown enough. Yeah, the bottom's a little bit brown, but not too brown. And I see that cheese is melting. So that's basically the cheese being melted. If for some odd reason you tried it for the first time and you were a little nervous about it burning and the cheese didn't melt, just put it in the microwave for about 10 to 20 seconds. Eggs are really funny with being microwaved. They will kind of explode, so be a teensy bit careful with microwaving eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it on his plate. And if you wanted to serve a side of bacon, if you are so inclined, I often do that. I just wasn't in the mood for bacon right this morning. So, I have my little omelet. You can tell it's a huge omelet. I typically eat a two to two and a half egg omelet, so this was a little bit bigger than normal. And so I am going to top it with some fresh basil out of my, sure that's off, fresh basil out of my herb garden. Love basil. You could use any fresh herbs. I would not recommend rosemary. Um, tarragon goes nicely. Oregano, thyme would go beautifully. Um, of course, fresh parsley or chives are really nice. If you don't have any fresh herbs, you may use chopped green onions. If you want to use a couple fresh tomatoes, that would also be a nice idea.